Hello everyone, this is Karst, and welcome back to Dishonored. So, last episode, we basically got our debriefing and then got sent right back out into Dunwall in order to do the second mission, which is for the Golden Cat. But I decided to kind of retrace my steps because we are reusing areas from the first section. Huh. Um... But it turns out that the loot is different the second time around, and of course there's a lot different with the entire area. So, with that in mind, I do intend to take all these people out, and uh, see what I can find out here. Of course I did fail a little bit last time, but that is A-OK. -okay. Galvani's offices are available once again. There was some loot somewhere around here that I wanted to uh, look at. I think there's a table. Is someone taking a piss down here? Okay, well, yeah, someone was. Now, I may be able to get away with taking him out, but that guy will probably see me. That said, there are actually a fair number of guards, and they can actually turn off the, uh, the wall of light to come over here and take me out. As we sort of discovered last time. This works. This works. And then, where's the other guy? Let's see. Oh, well, you seem alone. I think the same thing happened last time, uh, where I took out, like, two of these guys, and then I got caught by a third one that I wasn't aware of. So that's on me. Um, so this time around, I can kind of prepare. Just a couple of rats. Some whale oil, some loot too, it looks like. I have no idea who caught me last time. Maybe someone over by the actual wall of light saw me. Hmm. And there's stuff over there, but I actually don't think I can use any of it. It's like pistol or... Yeah, it's like am pistol ammo and grenades and stuff that I don't intend to use. Alright. So in that case, I'll take that. The Distillery District. I've probably read this, actually. Yes, I did. Okay, so I didn't really gain anything new by coming through here. But yeah, so it turns out last time I was here, I only got caught because there was someone all the way over here who was kind of watching, I suppose. Which is fine. Oh yeah, these two. Now, I kind of want to loot them. Isn't it a wonder? It's one of Sokolov's latest inventions. They say the idea came to him in a vision. Yes, yes, but do you know how it works? I really couldn't say. But all the hairs on your body stand up when you walk through. Fine. Alright, worth it. Probably wasn't worth it, but, you know. I'll pretend it was worth it. Bye. I'm long gone, you will never find me. No you don't. God, if you see him. No you don't. Hush. Okay. Ow. There's no assassin, shut up. Okay, I don't think this is really worth it. Oops. What have we got? Okay, a dude over there. Where's the guy I was trying to take out? Oh, there he is. Okay, good. He turned around. No, you don't. Shut up. Good night. You can stay right here with your buddies. Nice. I can't say this is exactly a great use of my, um, my HP, but, you know, it is what it is. Attention, Dunwall citizen. A Good night. Mandatory whale oil ration is now in effect. Non-compliance is a punishable offense. Oh, the other bodies have disappeared. I was hoping to make a pile of them, but oh well. Alright, so I don't think that was exactly worth it, but it worked out. I got the 10, the 20 gold. 
twenty dollars or whatever. Uh, in that case, let's go back into Galvani's offices. Except from the upper level, like last time. In we go. The House of Pleasure. The Loyalists believe that Emily is being held at the Golden Cat by the corrupt aristocratic Pendleton brothers. I think we've actually read this. Yes, we have. Okay, that door just opened. Not a big deal. Maybe you can go up later and take a look after the other two are gone. Oh, I don't like that they're coming over here. Oh no, he's not. Oh, that was unfortunate. Good night. That was not good. The funny thing is now I can just swap floors. I still have the keys from last time, so oh Jesus. What do you think? I think he's dead, right? I know that. I mean, do we have suspects? Suspects? What? Suspects? We ain't gonna waste time solving who killed him. Personally, I'd buy who did it a drink. But what are you gonna put on your report? I'm gonna say we found one of Slackjaw's men inside, all dead and bloody, and that you are a stinking idiot. Someone's gonna probably walk over here now. Or not. Okay. So the other person downstairs, they're probably on alert. But I've dipped the hell out. Chances are very good. They're still talking to each other, huh? That's a little unfortunate. Let me in. Oh, they replaced the rat with the rune. Okay. Sure. Uh... Okay, teacups. Sewer capacity in a month of rats. I think a month of net. Oh shit. I'm just that bad. Did he just shoot himself? Ow. Okay. You know, I think it's. Ow. Okay. I think it was worth it to die there. It was alright. That's unfortunate. I've met my demise. You're gonna see that a lot. Okay. What do you think? I think he's dead, right? I know that. I mean, do we have suspects? Okay, Sus so I think I can distract them with a glass. We ain't gonna waste time. Who they did Who not care about the glass I at all, drink. okay? But what are you gonna put on your report? I'm gonna say we found one of Slackjaw's men inside, all dead and bloody, and that you are a stinking idiot. So I'll take that, and I'll just prep. That guy's probably going to turn around again, like last time, and uh, look at the other dude, which is not ideal. Yep. That's what he's doing. So, what would actually take them out? I can't actually get up there as much as I wish I could. Oh. Not today, sir. Oh, he's turning the other way. That's good. Mine. Take a nap, buddy. Oh, there's no bed here. Alright. You can sleep right in front of the toilet. It's okay. And who else have I got? Where's the other dude? Oh, there he is. You gonna come back inside or what? No? No, alright. That's good for me. Good night, sir. You have a key on you. I'm not sure what it's for, but I want it. Galvani building key. Okay, it's the same key I used to get in here. But that's okay. You know what? Just chill in here. No one's gonna find you. Actually, I feel like that would break his legs if I closed the bookcase on him. Alright. Oh. Uh, now, which book was it? I guess it's on this side. It doesn't really matter, does it? Pull. Thank you. Thank you. I do want the food. Also want that. Okay. So, it, that wasn't too bad. I just need to be a bit more patient, as always. Crowley's last message. Okay, so I can in input that into one of the... Um, one of the audio players, I guess. 
No, we don't. Shut up. I've got to put this into one of the uh, record players, right? Unless it's a note that I can just straight up read. Um, let's see here. Uh, I don't think I can actually pull open that. There you go. Notes. Audiographs. I guess I can't see it here right now. Hmm. I guess I have to actually play it before I can use it. Okay, fine. That's okay. Something over there for me to pick up. And something in here, apparently. Oh, yes, I remember this area. This is where the, uh, the rat swarm was last time. No rat swarm this time, though, so I guess I should be happy about that. Anywhere, anyone around here? That's perfect, I do want this. Um, I'll pick up the sparrow feathers. And now the people downstairs, like I said, they're on the lookout for me. Especially since, you know, I triggered them before anything else. Oh, a little awkward. Oh, good, he turned around. How nice of him. Alright, you're mine. The other dude back here. He's not in this room, though, is he? He's in the next room over. Okay, that's fine. But there's no loot over here, apparently, so this doesn't do me any good. At least not at the moment. Uh, Alright, well... Hello, dude. Oh, crap. Okay, you wanna start moving around? Thank you. Now, I just need him to walk all the way around. Okay, he's stuck. Well, that's not great. That's a little annoying. Oh, he's not stuck anymore. Okay, well, that was weird. Um. Alright, he's stuck again. It's really awkward if I'm trying to stealth up behind you and you're stuck uh, facing a specific direction. Especially, you know, facing the door, which I would like to use. Very awkward, sir. Hello. Can I, like, sneak under the table or something? Somehow. I could probably port behind him. That'll work. Good night. So what was all that about? He was, he was just stuck here. Why? I can get through it just fine. Hmm. Oh well, no big deal. Uh, I never did get into the safe, did I? Yeah, this is the safe I never forgot the combination for. There is an item inside, but not much. So I have to operate under the assumption that the... That the passcode or the, um, the combination is around here somewhere, right? Probably a safe bet. I just have to find a clue, presumably. Although I'm not sure how or where. I mean, that said, it looks like there might only be like, I don't know, like 10 gold or something in there. So it's nothing crazy. It's not like there's a rune back there or a bone charm. I will take this, however. Yeah, it's like literally just a pouch of maybe 10 coins. Not a big deal. Still, though, I wouldn't mind knowing the passcode. Um. Yeah, I'm not seeing it at the moment. So, I can always come back later. It's, no, it's fine. Now, I think I came down from the top level. I'm fairly sure I did. So, in that case, let's go further down. Anyone else in here, or are we done? I think there's no one else on the ground floor. Yeah, there's no one down here. Well, that's good news for me. Um, there's something hidden back here. A lot of health elixirs that I just don't have the carry capacity for. Thank you. But it's nice to know that it's there if I need it later. 
Are people just gonna walk in through the front door if I get near it? I know sometimes stealth games like to do that. You know, trigger a spawn or something once you get near. Customs in the food of Morley. I've already read all that. Oop. I think I climbed the door by accident. Okay, I don't think there's anything else. Um, I'll take the coinage, but that's literally, you know, bullets I can't use, bolts I can't use. I'll take the one coin, more bolts. Yeah, okay. We've pretty much cleared out this place once again, which is fine. Uh, now, walking out the front door is probably ill-advised, but I've already taken everyone out on the exterior, as far as I know, so we may as well take it. Oh boy, these guys are all coming over here now. That's not ideal. That's a bunch of them. Uh, I do need to get to the whiskey distillery again, um, just to get Slackjaw to help me out. Not sure where all these dudes came from, but I can probably take them out one by one if they keep walking in a straight line. As long as they don't notice that one of their numbers, you know, disappearing every two seconds. Oh dear. Good night. Okay, I'm stuck. Uh-oh. I don't like that they're fanning out. That's not ideal. Oh. Oh. Uh, I kind of want the lieutenant dude over there, but he started walking over here. Which isn't great. Now they are walking separately, so this might work. This will work. This guy's basically behind a bunch of pillars. Or, you know, packages. Good night. And now you... Uh oh You can... Join your brethren. Oh crap. No you won't. Hush. Oh, because he saw his buddy. That's fine. Can't stay hidden forever. Oh yeah? I'll find you, you hagfish. That's rude. You won't stay hidden for long. Oh, it's a good thing I double checked before he turned around. Hello, good night. Alright. I think that is all of them for me to worry about then. Wonderful. I can now run around with impunity, except for that person, I guess. I'm sure there's going to be loot somewhere around here. I can turn that off. Uh, no additional bone charms around here, which is good. Well, I mean, there's one up ahead, but that's not a big deal. That person would have seen me if I had gone for him. At least I'm fairly sur sure he would have. Oh, he's gone, though. Oh, but there's so many of them. Yeah, taking out this specific person might not be easy. As much as I'd love to do it. Although, those people are now looking the other way. Shit. Good night. Attention, Dunwall citizen. A man now in effect. Alright. Uh, he basically tried to follow me, but couldn't find me, and then the others are technically trapped behind the wall. Not true, actually. Hi there. Seriously? That's not fair. That's not fair. No, you don't. Hush. Okay, so now there's two of them. Oh, 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 wow, okay. There's a lot more than two of them. I was incorrect. Oh, no, he saw me. Okay, everyone's on full alert, which is wonderful. Yeah, I figured that guy was going to look under. Uh, hmm. I may have made my life a lot more difficult than I intended. Good night. I heard you there. No, you didn't. That hearing must be amazing if you can hear the weapon drop from that distance. Granted, you would hear it in real life too, but 
I just need you to turn around, sir. Oh, that guy's coming. Why are you not showing up on my radar? There you go. Uh, okay, so I'm not in a great spot. I should probably dip. Oh, look at all that stuff down there. Did I know that was down there? That was probably all the food I saw. Yes, I did. Okay. So... Where are my enemies? You are correct. There is someone skulking around. It may or may not be me. Attention, citizens of Dunwall. The Lord Reed has ordered Mine. whale oil rationing in this area. Failure to comply will result in immediate... I don't know. Uh, all things considered, even though I'm basically just doing this in a very inefficient manner, there is something really satisfying about taking these people out. Just something fun about it, you know? So now this guy is alone on this side again. I'll write to her again. She has to see reason. Here's my reason for you right here. Good night. Now I could clo turn this off, but I don't know if I want to. No, we don't. Hush now. Tell you what, I'll come around to this side later. I'm actually going to move on um, to the distillery's district and actually get that side quest out of the way. I may as well interact with as many citizens um, as I can and get as much content as I can out of the game. Hello. I, I know I promised to take a look and talk to uh, Slackjaw like a while ago, but I'm back now. As long as none of you decide to attack me, I think we'll be fine. I'm sure there's more loot nowadays too. Oh yeah, absolutely. A bone charm, all right. Don't mind me, friends. Got anything to smoke nice. No one said this is stealing, I'm allowed. None of you are arguing against me for doing this. Now, where is that bone charm? Oh, through here. I guess I don't have a... I don't have the key for this. That's unfortunate. And I can't exactly just slip through using this, can I? No, even though realistically you'd imagine you could just aim through the bars. Yeah, okay, fine. They thought ahead. Slackjaw be waiting for you. Oh, I know. I'm gonna help you guys out by clearing out some of the rats before they become a problem. Don't mind me. Hey, I remember this location. This is where I did so great uh, last time when I snuck in here and totally didn't actually decide to uh, poison everyone. Bunting. This art dealer, Bunting, is a man of taste. If anyone left in Dunwall has something worth stealing, it's him. So, whoever opens the safe gets double the normal cut. Oh yes, that's right, he's trying to get into a safe in there too. But he's over at the um, the Golden Cat, so I'm probably not going to find that um, combination until I actually go in there. Someone's sleeping around here? Look at all the stuff back here. How do I get that to open up? Yeah, how do I get that to open up? Hmm. That's like a store... Oh. Of course. This will do it, wouldn't it? I wonder if I could have done this the first time around as well. Probably. Well, you know, no one said anything about not taking all their stuff, so... Look, you invited me here, okay? You just have to deal with the tax that comes with it. Uh, Distillery reserve key, I'll take that. Anything else? Not really. All this rest of this is just food, which is a-okay. Oh, I guess, I guess, I guess I could have gone over. Yes, that is true. That is true. And then I could have climbed the chains and stuff. All right. Fine, fair enough. And then there's like a ton of stuff just down on the lower level as well. Look, I'm allowed down here. Hush, quiet. I'm allowed to be here. Although I guess I can't really get back there though, can I? Hmm. Wait, wasn't there a way in through, um... Okay, maybe not. Oh, I have the key for this, though. Haha, <laughs> mine. Thank you. Thank you. I'll just take all this. 
Look at all these healing options. Um, I'm gonna have to remember that this stuff is here if I get desperate at some point. I think that's all I needed. Uh, okay, Slackjaw. I know you're in the next room. What's going on? What's going on? What can I do for you? Or rather, more importantly, what can you do for me? Anything new here? Well, there's more money. Thank you. You just watched me do it with no complaint, so... There you go. Um, this might be more money as well. That definitely is more money. There you go. Perfect. No bone charms or runes hidden up there this time. Alright. Hello, sir! It just auto-saved, I think. Or maybe that was me, I don't recall. Bootleg still, we know about this already. My men were right. You do look like a man out for murder. Way I figure it, there ain't nobody worth killing around here except those two Pendletons over at the Golden Cat. I'm right, ain't I? See, slack your nose. Them boys are twins. Rich, mean, and weird. Worse than most of their ilk. They've been laying low there a while, not sure why. There's a lot of security at the Golden Cap tonight, though. Special guests and the like. But you're gonna walk in there dressed like that and kill the Pendleton brothers? Maybe yep, I gotta that's me. I take care of them, too. If you're doing something for me first, understand. Someone, oh? I don't know who, is killing my men, taking my territory, stealing my goods. Might be a fellow name of Galvani. I sent my best man to investigate, but he went missing and... Well, now I need someone to find what happened to him. Oh. Go to this Galvani's place. He lives I've in already the done this. Clavering Boulevard. You do that for me and I'll get your better way into the Golden Cat. Uh... Sure, here's Crowley's last words. What's this? Information from my missing... Oh, and then you can plug it in right here. That's perfect. Slackjaw. It's me, Crowley. I'm making this in case I don't make it back. He was right. There is someone once you did. What's the take over the distillery and the whole Bottle Street gang? And you'll never believe who it is, neither. At first, I did that's why it's taking me so long. I wanted to be sure. And Get to the point. Just say it. Fire! No! No! Ah! So of course. Dead. Yeah, he didn't Too get bad. to say the the words. He was one of my best men. Still, you and me had a deal, and Slackjaw never goes back on a deal. Take this key. It ain't for the golden cat, no. This key's for the captain's chair. A hotel abandoned since the plague gutted this part of town. Take the stairs to the top. You can use the roof to get into the Golden Cat Brother. See that? Slackjaw keeps a bargain. Just as good as the men who run the city. Maybe a little better. You think about that? Sure. Now maybe we can help each other out again. Oh? How? I'll get rid of the Pendletons for you. Quiet like and without killing them. But you gotta do something for me in return. Elaborate. Yeah, interesting. Tell me what you've got in mind. The cat's having a big reopening tonight. Lot of money clients. Ah, yes. Including an arts dealer named of Bunting. He's got particular tastes, or so I've been told by some of the ladies. Got some pretty fancy stuff locked away at his place. And the only thing preventing me from nabbing all that loot is the combination to a safe. Of course, the Pendletons have been camped out there for months, too, not sure why. So that means a lot of the City Watch and other soldier types. Bring me that combination, my masked friend, and then I take care of the Pendleton brothers. Just like that. You ain't never even gonna touch them. And I promise, I won't kill them, and no one will ever see them again. Now, if that ain't a deal... Slackjaw don't know what is. So you you are offering me the non um You're offering me the non-lethal approach. In exchange, Slackjaw will neutralize them without killing them. And this is specifically tagged. Okay, alright, I can work with you. I can work with you, sir. 
That's a, um... An offer I am, in fact, willing to take. Can we actually talk a bit more? Get me the art dealer's safe combination, and I take care of them Pendleton twins for you. All clean-like. Okay. First job like Joe ever did before I was a boss. I broke into that place where the mighty thinkers go. The Academy of Natural Philosophers, or what have you. I saw things. Cutting up the dead. I tell you. Slack Joe will never go back. Them mm -hmm. big whale ships used to come in five times more than they do now. That blubber oil is like gold. But the plague broke out on the ships and half the sailors turned into weepers. Yeah, that's unfortunate. And nothing else from you, but the heart can also tell me about you. Oh. Fair enough. He deals in flesh, weapons, strong drink. They've always called him Slackjaw. He knows the streets of Dunmore, especially its dark alleys, as well as any man. There is a strong drink made here. I tried it once. Where is that? I need to find that. If ever in doubt, which is often, he uses the knife. The one right here? Yep. He and his thugs started in Trevor's Alley. Now his influence is felt over the entire island of Bristol. Slackjaw. Okay. Okay, we're doubling back now. Uh, I'll try one more. Okay, yeah. It's just repeating. Fine. Uh, where is that bone charm? Hello? Oh, that's right. This is the same bone charm from earlier. The one where... Oh, but maybe now I have the key to open this door. I do. Wonderful. Thank you. Spirited One. Potions give you slightly more mana. Uh, do I care about that? I don't think I do. Alrighty. Thank you, everyone. Um, that was productive in the fact that I didn't actually have to do anything new, so I'll take it. I apparently cannot double back to the other location, so I can only go out one way, which is fine. You cannot kill the Rat Plague. Alright. See you later, everyone. I say that, and I'm kind of like, you know, maybe there's something up here that I can find. Although my special ability here does kind of imply that that's not possible. Can you climb those ropes? No. Okay. Oh, and there's... Oh, I thought that was a dead body. Alright. Now I'm more than happy to leave. Um... Back to Bottle Street. Now, there was a way into the Golden Cat... There is a way back into the Golden Cat, um... From where Granny... I was gonna say Granny Smith. Granny, um... Granny Rags was, right? Might. Thank you, Griff. Good night. Goodbye, Gar Griff. Oh, I don't need to go through there right now. Um, okay, so he gave me an alternate route, which is in the Captain's Chair Hotel. I do want to go there because it's a new location for me. Um, like, the whole Granny, Granny Rags entrance is good, but... But, I don't know if that's what I really want to do. Um, at this time. I can turn this off, though. Oh, the captain's chair is all the way over there. Hmm. I mean, yeah, I could just turn this off. Don't see me. You kind of saw me, but not really. Oh, I can rewire it, but there's no purpose to that. I'd rather just turn it off. But that probably makes noise. And that makes them come over here. Right? Or, well, sorta. Well, one of them's coming over. Is he actually gonna cross through? No. There's a few too many of these guys. Oh dear. Well, it's a good thing that I didn't go through with that. Fine, I'll just take the side, uh, the side entrance. Or, you know, the side route. I left it on the ground and the lady left, so technically that is available to me then. Okay, so that really... Uh oh Hush. Quiet. 
Dunwall citizen. A mandatory Shit. You heard nothing. Oh, there's a rocket! Oh, that wasn't great. Okay. That wasn't ideal, but okay. Uh, it could have been worse. Good night to you. you won't stay hidden for long. Oh yeah? Watch this. And now, I will hide you. Up here. So this- oh, that literally just takes me right to the Golden Cat, so I don't need to take that route specifically, though. They're all staring up at me as if they know that I'm here. But they really shouldn't. They didn't see me actually come up here. Okay, that's getting a little repetitive, but that's alright. Captain's Chair Hotel is a way in. I am curious to know if some of the loot around here has respawned, though, so... Let's see. Hard to say. Hard to say. Hmm. Oh no, you don't see me. Shut up. There is new loot and new instructions. Okay. And that's like a rewire tool right there. Okay. Don't mind me. Okay, they're throwing rocks at me. Which feels pretty rude. What the hell just happened? I glitched the hell off of it. Uh, OD. Ow. Mine. No, you don't. I did. You're right. Imagine that. Uh, okay. Uh, I may as well pick this up as well. There we go. They're all separated now, which is great news. L less good news. Oh, he saw me. Okay. No, I'm not. I'm gonna get old running around this place. Yes, I hear that a lot, actually. I guess I'm just back to my old haunt right here. Oh shit. No you don't. Alright, maybe I should just, you know, be... Maybe I should just sneak around everyone and just ignore the loot. I don't know. Are you just gonna wander around each other? You got lucky this time. Oh, did I? If you say so, sir. I think I just wasted my mana by accident, but that's okay. I don't usually need to top up, so it's fine. Yeah, there's a whole lot of them. Too many of them, actually. Although they are all over here now, which means that I could probably just take the side route again. No, I'm not. Shut up. Yeah, so now that they've all been distracted, I can probably just get away with going through here. Technically, I could just activate the Wall of Light again, can't I? But that's not necessary, because they're all gone. Uh, to all watch officers, be aware that Clavering Boulevard leading to Holger Square has been sealed until further notice. The office of the High Overseer has entered a state of crisis, and all interactions with the Overseers must be coordinated through me, whether previously authorized or not. Former High Overseer Thaddeus Campbell has been granted a heretic, a historic religious event that the Overseers enforce without exception or mercy. Campbell has been stripped of all authority, and anyone offering him aid or shelter is subject to arrest. This includes members of the Watch. First Captain Nathan Mortimer, Abbey Liaison. 
Well, it's only a minor offense. It's not that bad, in theory. Okay. Uh, they are all distracted on the wrong side of the street, so I may as well just go right through the Captain's Chair Hotel. I don't know if anyone's back here. I think I would have noticed if there was. At least according to my... Oh? Oh. According to my, uh, my shadow vision thing. So I would have seen someone in here, I think. But that's fine. Uh, let me loot this, please. Thank you for the bone charm. Acrobat. You climb slightly faster. That does seem good. Uh, I don't know why I have albinos. That doesn't seem necessary. Yeah, that's fine. More bullets, but I don't need them. The doom of has come to the city. Oh, crap! Is the Doom of Pandicia uh, the Rat Plague? Is that what this is? No more rats, please. Um, oh, I was hoping that would be food. That's fine. We can move on. I'm going to assume that Slackjaw didn't know there would be a play, you know, a swarm of rats in here. And he didn't send me up here to die. Into the Golden Cat. Now I'm approaching it from above. Alright. The Golden Cat Bathhouse. Right. We'll see how this goes. The art dealer is just... Oh. Play your way. Options. The upcoming area is riddled with pathways that allow many approaches to accomplishing your mission. Oh, I know. I already saw like three entrances. Look for overhead ledges, rat tunnels, water passages, and hiding places. I'll do my best. Um, now, as much as I like to see... Um, as much as I like to see... All of the available content in a game... Uh, this is exactly the type of game where that actually feels very daunting. <laughs> because there's so many different routes and I have to find every single one to get you know all the content I want. So, there's the golden cat, or at least one of the entrances. Art stealers back here, there are guards on the rooftops. Now, that's an obvious entrance through a window. Um, I'm willing to bet I can enter from above as well. Uh, that's just recurring dialogue. Okay, I can always get back up here if I want to. So, first things first, even though I approached from the upper area. I'm more than happy to find these runes. Oh, there's a lot of runes and bone charms everywhere. Okay. What is that? A guard? Yep. There's a guard down here too. Can I take him out from over here? Um, let me guess, this would have been the other door that I would have entered from? Yeah, I think so. Ooh, hello. Just a map. Uh, you are here. Yeah, I know. Main entrance? Yeah, I saw that. That's really not a helpful map at all, but okay. Make sacrifices in this time of plague. Theft of food or elixir is punishable by death. I see that rat, rat swarm that's just begging to happen. Any treasures back here? Hmm, sorta. I'll eat that. I'll eat this too. Now, how many of the enemies are here? They were just having a conversation. That guy will probably see me take that dude out, so I should probably take him out first. Good night, while your friend is taking a piss. Nice. Alright, uh, you're probably not going to notice that your buddy has disappeared. Because while the AI is good, it's not going to be that good. Oh dear. Well, that's not true though. I've actually heard them go, oh, someone should be uh, on patrol over here. 
and then they get suspicious based on that. So I have heard that dialogue, so maybe I'm wrong. I'm just getting uh, overconfident, as it were. But, so far so good. I'll toss these bodies down. I don't need that. That'll do. Alright, so we're just on the lower level. I'm happy to run around down here since the guards in this particular area are all gone. Um, this offers an easy way up. Goodbye to you. Yeah, I do like the design, the way they design this game, right? Like, with all the different options available. Very nice. Very appreciative. Hello there, ma'am. Can I chat with you? Someone's over there. I am. No, quiet. You didn't have to call for the guards. I guess I could go in from the swamp. Oh, more of the fish. I hate these fish. Crap! Is that loot down there? Whoa! Ow. That's on me. For, you know, walking up to her and wondering if she's an actual NPC I could talk to. Apparently not. Oh, they still know I'm here. That was really close. Do you? I'm surprised he didn't hear the weapon clatter that time. I'm nowhere. That lady really betrayed me there. I wasn't expecting her to call for help. But here we are. That's fine. Worked out in the end. I'm not going to choke her out or attack her or anything, though, but still. Uh, and this is just the front entrance, isn't it? I literally just opened up the front entrance to myself just by doing that. Look at that. The area seems so much larger when I first came in. I don't know. Strange, isn't it? Branded, Overseer Thaddeus Campbell. Thaddeus Campbell, formerly the High Overseer, is no longer a citizen of Dunwall. It is now a criminal offense to offer this man aid or housing. Contact the City Watch if you have any information, and a reward is available. I can hear... that. Okay. Well, I can actually easily access that. Oh, someone else still looking for me over here, huh? Nope, nothing here. Well, I'm not too worried about that right now. The Lord Regent is a shriveled prick and a liar. Well, you know, you're not wrong. Alright, just up through here. Oh, and then there's even an upper area up here, too. Okay. I guess this is where the rune would be, actually. There's nothing on this floor. Thank you. Alright, let's take a look and see what we can get. Um, bend time. I can stop time. Or, ooh. Spend time is useful for sneaking and assassination, since your enemies are suspended in time. This gives you the time to slip past enemies and sneak away, or to rush them unaware for a lethal strike. Anything you come into physical contact with is pulled into your time and moves faster briefly. Bend time is also useful for stopping projectiles in mid-air, giving you the chance to move out of the way or even to collect them. Cool. Um, That might be something I would want, actually. That will make my life much easier. Possession. Don't really feel like I need that. Honestly, Ben Time, I'm leaning towards Ben Time. Yeah, why not? Press right click to slow the world around you for a limited time, or until you press right click again to end the power. At level 2, time is completely stopped. Enemy and security systems are unaware of you for the duration. Wow, okay. That seems really good. Okay, cool. Uh, send us food, not bullets. Yes, indeed. Let's turn this off now. Can I open this? No. Alright. But there is a way out. To more vent work. Okay. I do want to see what's on that side as well. Oh, hi there, guard. I can go quite far, though. There's another bone charm nearby. That's fine. I would just like to take this guy out. No, too expensive. 
The ivory room, huh? We've got a prowler, that is true. Yeah, it's nice. Some dude in there. That's someone sitting in a chair. Oh no, there's that's just someone kneeling, okay. Now there's a rune right there, right there. A bunch of runes everywhere, actually. And a bone charm, okay. Now I do want to take out the guard who was on the roof. Uh, I'm pretty sure he was on this roof. Although I'm not sure if I can reach him from here. Oh no, the roof was up there. Yeah, okay. Hmm. I suppose I'll just do one thing at a time. I may as well take out these guards. Okay, don't look through the door. Okay, he's looking for me, but through the wrong... Or... In the wrong location. Can I even open this? I do have a lock. Or not a lock, but I do have a key, apparently. Or maybe it just didn't need a key. Alright, buddy. Just turn around. Thank you. Now come outside with me, sir. We just need to have a nice long conversation. With your friend, who's already out here. Uh, don't know what's going on in there. No, we don't. Okay. So what is this? Personnel only. The madam's office is back here. Hello. Oh, you're hiding. Are you the madam? You're the madam, aren't you? Why are you hiding from me? Did I actually alert all of you? I guess I did. You look a bit like Elizabeth. I don't know what that's all about. Golden Cat Master Key. Madam Prudence. Yeah, that's the one. That's the lady who's outside. I know we're running low on beds, but I must have a room for the child. That would be Emily. She's more important than you can guess, and she recently almost got away using the VIP entrance. That's why I decided to keep the Master Key in my possession. This girl must be cared for, even if she's a brat, and I want her kept to a room to herself. That's fine. I already have the Master Key. I already got it from her. Uh, Golden Cat Guest Ledger. Lord Morgan ben Pendleton with... Lu Lulia in the steam room downstairs, Mr. Bunting with Betty in the silver room, second floor, and Lord Custis Pendleton, Pendleton with Violetta in the gold room, third floor. Wonderful. You uh, just chill right there then, Madam Prudence. Gold room, steam room, courtesan's dormitory. I want to explore everything before, before committing, you know? So you say. Mm, there's another person kneeling. I guess they're all afraid. Uh, and they might just be having a bit of fun over there. Uh, okay, well, I don't know how I'm going to get through those two at this time. I could just, you know, sleep dart them. But that's a little bit of a cheap... Cheap move that might not be strictly necessary. Oh, hi. I didn't see you down there. I don't think you're with anyone else, so good night. Uh, where should I even put you? Hmm. Heh, <laughs> actually, I have a good idea where I should put you. Good night, bud. Can I close this on him? Oh, yeah. Good night. Non lethal, he's still alive. He might, you know, smell real bad when he wakes up, but he'll be okay. Um, I'm surprised there was nothing up here. Okay, lots of people having fun. I think that's two ladies over there. Not sure what exactly is going on right here. I guess he's probably just drugged out of his mind. Alright. As it were, right? Uh, with people who chill in these locations. Now, what exactly is in here, and how do I get it? Ah! Oh, there's apparently a machine in here. Fascinating. Um... Maybe I can just get in through the top. Can I climb this? Is that climbable? Oh. Well, there's the guard that I was talking about, the one I want to take out. Oh, he's turning around. Good night. Very good. 
they ship them in from the farming villages. Of course. Bastard daughters. And the extra mouths that can be fed. Yes, I let's hear all about the sordid bad or the sordid sad backstory about the girls who work here. They would be working in a factory. Of course. By the time they arrive, it's much too late. Oh hi. The plague swept through here. There are rooms they have yet to clean. Wait, what the hell happened back here? Are you alive or dead back here? Unconscious. Okay, well, at least they're alive. I was curious. Yep, they drug themselves up. Okay, fair enough. Um... And then there's someone else who's hiding. These two are still talking to each other. Down in the basement. The steam room. That's where he always goes. Oh, there's a rune right here. Huh. Is that how you tell which is which? That's how I do it. I hear the girls have another way. Oh, of course I'm sure they I'm sure they have a way to find out, yes. Okay, now they're separating, but he's coming in here, which I don't like. Don't really appreciate that. Oh, he's not coming in here. That's fine then. Go ahead and stand guard right outside this door. If anyone asks, you were part of this party. Wonderful. And then there's a guard right over here. Okay, well that was close. Okay, I just need you to turn around, sir. Although I could always just do this. Good night. Alright, you were part of this party too. Okay, oh. Alright, the other guy was having too great a time. He had really had to go. Uh, let me eat some of this stuff. I'll take the rune while I'm here. You're just watching them kiss? What? Seriously? That was not good. Wow. Okay, well, I think I bumped into her and then she dropped her glass bottle. Which really sucked. For me. Obviously. Good night. No, you don't. That was so unfortunate. No, you won't. Shut up. Oh boy. Right? Yep, go ahead, go back. Thank you. I mean, technically, I could just keep baiting them out, huh? I mean, eventually, they're gonna run out of guards. I mean, they're already running low on guards. It's really not that bad. Please do not ask for credit. <laughs> okay. The lady who survived, or, um, sorry, the, the lady who dropped her stuff, she's still chillin'. I want that. Uh, obviously I'm not gonna attack any of the, the workers here. Because I'm not that kind of person. Lady Prudence, I will keep alive as well. Is that Emily up there? It's really hard to tell. Probably, right? Now, where's that art dealer? He's over here. Is that him? Okay, so what's going on in here is you are cowering from me. Uh, I don't know who this is. Can't someone help me? Just be quiet, okay? I'm not gonna... Why did you do that? It's not like I, like, bumped, like, I knocked you over or anything. What the shit? I'm seeing all the blood and stuff, too. Maybe I should just not walk near them. Because apparently they get blown right over when that stuff happens. Okay. Uh, yeah, if you walk near them, 
they uh, get <laughs> get thrown aside apparently even though I had no um, no intention of doing that to any of you calm down folks the hell is this non-lethal locate the art dealer hello finally I've been like this for 20 minutes your footsteps sound a little loud have you gained a little weight on him not just like last time understand slowly and only trigger the shock at my command get it and the safe word tonight will be retribution let's say you hear that you stop one shock out of line and you are out of a job uh-huh uh let's talk art dealer stay focused please i can tell you love your work all right we're doing it zap I deserve that one. Shall I tell you why? The Pendletons are here, right? I'll start with them. I cheated them. Robbed them of thousands. I'm not entirely sur surprised by that. Careful. I have a condition. All right. Zap! Oh, you're ruthless. Don't hold back. I'll tell you everything. The Pendleton's inheritance was worth hundreds of thousands at least. I told them it was junk. Oh, and then you took their art, huh? I deserve it. Okay, apparently do. Uh, uh, retribution! Retribution! Uh, that was perfect. But it's all I can take for tonight. Call my servants. We're done. Let's talk, sir. Stick to the script, please. Zap! Uh, we're done, I said. Retribution! Now let me out! There, we're talking, sir. I don't want to torture you, but we... Tell me what I need to know. Tell me what you need to know. Stop! You'll kill me. I don't want to kill you, so tell me your information, sir. All right. What the? Who is this? What do you want? The combination to the safe, please. The safe? Yes, of course. The combination is six nine six. Take anything you find. I think I felt my heart skip. Okay. I could probably just straight up kill him, but I choose not to. I'm begging you, please, don't do this. I can't exactly let you go please, right now either. Do anything. Yeah, but I'm not gonna kill you, no. So now I have to go back to. I have to go back to Slackjaw now, don't I? Return to Slackjaw with a safe combination, or I could just take it and then do it myself. But this is the non-lethal route, so I may as well do it. Hush, hush. Tell you what, I'll do the non-lethal thing after I explore this area. How about that? The gold room, he's up there somewhere. The steam room's down here somewhere. This is reminding me a lot of Jabba's Palace. I will say that right now. That's the first thought that went into my head. More guards, some fish. My cousin's a foreman at their mine. He says the slaves have dug half a mile down, so deep they're dying by the dozen from collapse or fumes. But the silver's almost gone. What are they going to do? Looks like they're gonna gamble and drink every night till it's gone, then jump in the river. I see, so their... their fortunes are... moving down the drain. Alright. Good night, sir. Now, I kind of want to listen in if there's any, like, unique dialogue for what they're saying. I'm not going to get involved, obviously, because I want to do the non-lethal approach. Not a big fan of the fact that the slaughterfish are here. Hey, where are you? Stay at your post. Damn, that's exactly cannot count right. On. They state that the conservative position gets an extra three votes. But not in the month of timber. Is that true? How on earth do you know that? Did you think I was born a courtesan, Lord Templeton? I was a clerk to Lord Estermar. Whatever happened to old Estermar? The rats did. Ah. An old sewer line led under his office in Parliament, and one day it flooded, and they all came rushing out. They say the other lords barricaded him in to save the The screams lasted hours. He begged and called them by name, but they let him die. That's pretty awful. 
I mean, you're just getting a hand massage. It's fine, just like in Final Fantasy VII. Uh, I would like to enter there, but I will leave them be. The interesting dialogue was good to hear and good to have. Oh, there's just... Oh, I didn't realize there were undergarments just in the water. I guess I should not be surprised. What is this? Steam room. The pressure valve has stopped working properly. This is the second time. You will not get a third chance, you understand? Repair it promptly or you're out, because I won't risk another accident. Our clients are among the most important men in the city, Madam Prudence. Oh, I guess I could just activate the steam valve here and kill them both if I really wanted to. But I won't, because I'm going for non-lethal and also I don't want to drag an innocent um, woman into this. So, that's fine. We can move on. It's nice that they stay in their rooms and they don't actually get triggered to come out um, after you walk near them, which I appreciate. That's just more food, that's fine. I just realized this is a very tasteful, uh, tasteful art piece. I didn't realize what it was until I got closer to it. The ivory room. Now I hear this is the most, what, this is the most expensive room there is in this place. I mean, as far as I know, there's no one in here, so I'm good, right? Elixirs everywhere. And another art piece. Oh, this is literally it. It's just, oh, it's a nice room. And the gold room is above, okay. It's a nice room with nice views. I'm in the big, big part of the building. Got it. Actually, no, that's the big... Someone there? No. Shit. Who's over there? The dormitory. Is that a, a lady threatening me down there? What? That's a lady down there threatening me. You serious right now? Why are you looking for me? Shouldn't you be cowering like the others? I mean, you know, it's fine. You go ahead, but... I'm not going to blame you for actually actively, you know, helping the city guard, but damn. Alright. Thank you. Look at this. This guy can afford the ivory room. Look at that. He's having a great time by himself in here. If I can find the lady who's looking for me, I'll, I'll knock her out and add her here. Uh, Alright, where to? Is that the lady who's threatening me? Now that's not Pendleton, is it? That might be Pendleton. Yeah, that might be Pendleton, actually. Because mm. they did say he's in the gold room, right? Yeah, that's probably him walking around, yeah. It, it looks like his, his type of outfit. In that case, I do see I can take this loot right here. I am very curious to know what else is in these buildings. I know um, Emily's around here somewhere, so I don't really want to trigger that by accident either. Hi, can you see me through the window or...? The courtesan's dorm. That's probably where they're keeping Emily, actually. Okay, sir, I need you to turn around. Turn around, please, sir. Thank you. Before that guy turns around, too. Good night. Now there's an audiograph thing in there. Um, I'll worry. I'll worry about uh, what the audio log thing in there after the non-lethal approach has been done, because I assume if I return after that point, he'll already be gone. I assume. Might not be accurate, but you never know. Good night the smoking room. Do I know to go into the smoking room? Oh, I mean, the description is accurate, I'll say that. Uh, the gold room I don't want to walk into. I guess the lights are whether or not they're occupied, huh? Oh, they're like hookahs and stuff. Okay, that's fine. It's worth money. 
That's literally all there is in here, huh? I mean, I won't complain about money. Money's always nice, but it would have been nice to or cool to see some other other things. Um, Alright, so this just leads me back out here. There's still one more floor above me. Which I'm not sure where that leads. Um, so this is just what? The overlook to the pool area from earlier? Yeah, alright. Not pool, but you know, the place with all the couches and stuff. Nothing I can see around. Oh, there's a guard. Didn't realize there was a guard. Don't turn around, sir. Very good. Now, I have to say, um, because I kind of triggered them, I what I probably ruined whatever uh, dialogue, unique dialogue was going on in here. Courtesan's dormitory, VIP exit. I'm also concerned that if I go back out um, of this area and go back to Slackjaw, that the guards around here will respawn. Part of me was kind of like, did they hide a treasure like in the cat's mouth? Nope. Ow. Alright, um, just a smaller version of that statue. I'm pretty happy with what we've done so far. I will now go back to... Crap. Ah, the fish. I will now go back to, um, Slackjaw. Quiet. Slackjaw, old buddy, old pal. Maybe I should not go through the, um, the exit on the lowest floor, considering that the guards are still there and potentially still looking for me. So that's probably not the exit I want to take. I have no idea how the rats got up here, but okay. No! Okay. Okay, I guess I can just go up here. This will do it. Alright. And this will take me back to the other entrance I took, right? Through the hotel? Yep, alright. Now what about that Granny Rags entrance though? I do want to take a look at that too. I might as well I might as well take a look at that after um, I talk to Slapjaw. Slackjaw, sorry, Slackjaw. Um yeah, so I'll take the Granny Rags entrance afterwards. Now are the guards back? Yes, they are. Okay. No, I'm not. Shut up. Distillery's all the way over there. Oh, shit! I don't know how I got out of that without being observed, but here we are. And we're back. Slapjaw, have I got news for you? I keep calling him Slapjaw. It's a Slackjaw, I don't know why. It's just what's going through my brain for some reason. Slackjaw, old buddy, old pal. I got you your... Your code, and I won't actually loot it first. Oh, hey, you're up here now. Uh, don't know why you swapped locations. Looting in recent months. Excerpt from a letter found in an empty house at the edge of the Rudshore Financial District. The looting started in the warehouses. Once enough men took sick from the plague, the companies had to suspend operations. My husband Malchus was with the Mierson Tobacco Leaf Company, which closed last year following the month of clans. He ran the fireboxes at the main curing barn. Malchus always said five... Sorry, flu curing made the sweetest leaf. Sickness hits the tobacco men hardest because of all the smoking. They ran with a small crew for a while, but around the time my husband got sick, the fires were put out and the tobacco sat rotting. Somehow the thieves knew and started stripping the place. Later, they moved on to houses, the bastards. Okay. Uh, hey, so, Snackjaw, what have you got to say to me, sir? Don't you turn around- don't you betray me now. This is the combination to the art dealer safe. You brought me the numbers. I've been after this combination for months. If you ever need steady work, you come see me. Slackjaw knows a good man when he sees one. It's only natural that you'd be curious about what I intend to do with the Pendletons. 
See, the Pendletons got these rock mines. Have hundreds of souls working down there half a mile deep below ground. So I'm gonna shave their heads and cut out their tongues and Yikes. put them in one of their own stinking mines. Then they're gonna see life from a different angle. Oh, they're just straight up neutralized. Just immediately. I don't even have to watch it happen. It just it just goes. Alright. Sure then. Uh well that was easy enough. Now I can go and save Emily. I think after um exploring the area a little bit more a little bit more closely. Good night. Um now then, where is where is Granny Rags? She's on a lower level. Yes, yes. I'm not going to knock you all out. It's fine. As long as you don't get in my way, you will be okay. Just don't get in my way. Honestly, I can knock you out. You're not going to die, so, it's, you know, it's no big deal. You might have a bruise around your, you know, around your neck, but... I think that is a better alternative than the other. So, where... Where exactly is Granny Rags again? She's like down here, right? Where the Weepers were. Yeah, she was through here. Okay. Hey, Granny. Little birds, I've got some seed for you. Anything new for me here? No? Alright. Good night. Where exactly is this? I have the master key, so that actually lets me in. Oh, I guess... I guess without the key, I would not have been able to enter. Fair enough. So this is like... Oh, I forgot to look for the runes and stuff, too. Good thing the tooltip came up. Uh, alright, so I could have... I wouldn't have been able to enter through here. This takes me into the underground section, of course. Oh, I'm in the dorms. This is where they work. Did you hear what that little girl did? No. She's cute. Amy or Emily or something. She tried to escape. Somehow she found the VIP exit. Really? Yes, She's a smart girl. She's locked now and she carries the only key. Why is she here anyway? Is she some niece of the Pendletons? No idea. They keep her hidden away. <laughs> oh no! Shh. Help me! Shh. Help! Shh. Calm down. Quiet. Stop. I'm not gonna... I hate that they they get thrown away from you when you walk near them. I hate that. Like she got thrown so hard her blood was is like <laughs> on the walls. I'm just like, why? It's not like I wanted to shove her out of the way or anything. Don't mind me, I'm literally here just for the loot. I don't want to hurt you. I really don't. Oh, this is the toilet. Okay, fair enough. And the shower area. Why are there rats in your to in, in your shower? That's gross. Granted, obviously you guys... It's not like all of you wanted to work here or anything either. I'm... Why? I wasn't even near her. The girls do not like the same Adam. She is not kind. Not at all like the old one. What happened to the old one? The golden cat entertains important clients tonight. The man is worried. She oh, I should have used this on Madame Prudence. I will. She has kept a rag doll from her childhood and hides it under her bed. That's sad, man. The river rushed in when the barrier broke. The whole district went dark. The streetwalkers. Only the rats spread the plague faster. They ship them in from the farm. Yeah, we know. Bastard daughters. And extra mouths that can't be fed. They thought they would be working in a factory. By the time they arrived, it's much too late. When she was ten, her mother Yikes. treated her for a bottle of wine. Few enter this line of work by choice. I know. She is a play carrier, infectious, oh. and not ill. And she knows it. That's concerning. The courtesan knows many secrets, and I have to keep them. On the first day of the month of the rain, No, that's awful! She needs to throw herself in the roof. That's awful. This is depressing. 
very depressing. Uh, that's the VIP exit, huh? Where am I? This is the main lobby? The main entrance to the Golden Cat? Yep. Yep, this is the main entrance. Cool. Uh, everyone who's already taken out is already out, of course, so I have no fear about coming in here. Thank you for all the money. Weeper identification and handling. Excerpt from notes by Dr. Galvani on the proper procedure for handling those infected with the plague. Once a victim bleeds from the eyes, you cannot help them. Death is inevitable, given our current understanding of the plague. However, by following protocol, we can limit its spread. All personnel handling weepers, or those in the final stages, must consume liberal amounts of one of the available protective potions. Any of the variants will serve this purpose. Sokolov's Elixir or Piero's Remedy, for instance. A dose per day for the enlisted men, a dose twice daily for the officers. Distance must be maintained either through the use of pole arms or incendiary ranged weapons in order to avoid the parasitic stinging insects that colonize an infected host. That's horrifying. After use, strict washing procedures must be followed with regard to washing the metal kennels, transport paddocks, and the carriages used to transport the infected to one of the deportation zones, such as the flooded district. Okay, wonderful. Um, so let's go and read up on Lady Prudence. I'm sure there's going to be unique dialogue for her. Because people apparently don't like her. That's you. I'm back again. Oh. Oh, that's just a map. Okay, that's kind of whatever then. Lots of health re- um, Lots of health uh, potions and stuff like that. Area map. Yes, yes. Oh, I didn't see these um, these portraits. How nice. All right, Prudence. The plague swept through here. There are rooms they have yet to clean. Help me! She froze the dead girls in the river. That's awful. She learned long ago not to grow fond of any of the girls. The golden cat was here long before she came to ride it. But the curtains were her idea. But the plague is the least of her worries. She holds her head high now. But once she worked the streets and were not but filth. Okay, so she was in their position once. She throws the dead girls in the river. She learned long okay. ago not to Fine, the fair enough. Um, rune upstairs. Bone charm. Now, everyone is already, you know, unconscious here. And taken out. So, let's go and look for... Uh, what's his name? The girls do not like this new I want to find the room where um, Pendleton was hanging out. So that would be a lower level and then an upper level. Yeah. Uh, so I think it would be down the stairs. Now I do want those items, but first things first. Okay, actually, it's up the stairs. I've, I've gotten completely turned around in here. Uh... So, through here then, presumably. Oh yeah, absolutely through here. And then down the stairs. Cool. So I assume the lady who was in here is now gone and safe. Yep. Alright, well this door is good. We're all set. I'll take the money. Thank you. Anything else in here? Nope. Don't know why the master key was just hanging on a wall in there, but sure, why not? Okay, well, turns out there wasn't really anything interesting in there. Which is fine. Uh, not every room is going to be, you know, interesting. Um, silver room. Oh, that's, this dude is still here. What do you have to say about him? He wants to take the whole inheritance for himself. Does he? He's wealthy and wears fine clothing. But underneath, all men look the same. Fair enough. He is lowborn. He is killed more than once to keep it a secret. All right. He is very rich and powerful. Oh, we know. Soon the money will run out. Oh, really? And when it does, things will not go well for him. I will be glad to rest. Fair the enough. The job of an aristocrat is to stay an aristocrat. He enjoys tormenting the hell. I don't like that. His family controls a large estate with many servants. He might wear the blue jacket tomorrow. The gray doesn't bring out his eyes. 
All right. Basically, he's a rich, um, a rich butt. So that's all I can say on that matter. Um. Now there's a few bone charms right over here by the courtesans area, which is fine. This is the gold room. This is where Pendleton was chilling. Oh, it's just music. Gold room caught like okay. This this is all just money reserved. I wish the textures weren't so, you know, blurry, but fine. Those are just prices for each of the rooms. Oh, I'm surprised there was actually nothing of note in here at all. Yeah. I guess there's that. I'll take the hundred dollar, uh, hundred dollars. Thank you. Okay, fine. Uh, in that case, I would like to get the bone charm, the rune. I could have sworn there was a third one. Bone charm and a rune. I guess I got the other rune that was already in here that was hanging on the wall. I suppose that's true, yes. So how do I get over to the courtesan's dorm? This is the smoking room, so that doesn't seem right. I guess I can actually get over there by... Oh no. Hmm. I mean, probably from an overlook. Right? Probably from, like, out here. Uh, I cannot port out there. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not allowed to port there, huh? Okay, fine. I can aim elsewhere. Okay, apparently I cannot aim elsewhere. Alrighty then. Uh... I can always just go from the rooftop, I suppose. Yeah, I can always just go from above. Sign. I say that, and I'm trapped. Okay. What am I missing? There we go. Nope. Alrighty then. Um. Tell you what. I think I must be getting turned around. Let's just go around on this side. I totally missed. I'm just here again. How the hell? Okay. Alright. Fine. We'll just do it this way then. What's this upper area? Ah yes, this will be the back of house. Of course! What am I doing? Just go up from back of house. Duh. It's in the same building, obviously. Hello? Oh, I kind of feel bad to be stealing from the girls. Oh, hello. Robust 2. That's probably just HP, right? Yeah. More HP per heal. That's fine. Okay, you know what? That's okay. If the choices here were a little bit more far-reaching, I might consider actually holding off on stealing all this, but... I'm okay. That's probably where Emily is. Oh, hi. Don't mind me, miss. What was that? Hi. Please help me. Oh, you're gonna get knocked over or something, aren't you? Missing Women, Golden Cat. Excerpt from a crime story revolving around the Golden Cat. Mr. Arrowhoff, I assure you, my family has a means to pay you and your associates should you locate my sister. You've got her name and description, and everything else we know about her initial weeks in Dunwall before Patrice stopped writing to me. However, there is one other detail, so hard to believe that I was reluctant to mention it. There is an establishment within Dunwall called the Golden Cat. A bathhouse, I believe, though some say it's a brothel. This is from a crime story, right? It's not real, hopefully. I mean, it's not exactly a rare story, but still. I find it implausible that Patrice would ever be connected with such a place, but I would be remiss if I did not pass along the information. Just before her letters stopped coming, the cousin of an old friend said she, she he saw Patrice performing there, singing and playing the harp. It could be nothing, but please investigate. Lastly, if your search of the city has not borne fruit by the month of wind, I will be making the trip from Morley myself in order to retain another agent. Sincerely, Madison Canebright. Sure, don't mind me, don't fall over, don't get knocked over by me walking in here. Help. I feel awful about taking the money now, actually. 
Uh, I'm not going to go in there, because clearly that's where Emily is being held. Thank you. Thank you. Nothing else, I think. Okay, we're done here. Hey, Emily. Why are you wearing that mask? Corvo? Aren't I a little short for a stormtrooper? <laughs> You're wearing a mask to sneak around, aren't you? Yep. They, they, they told me you were head chopped off and in the prison, dead, like like mother. Not on this occasion. It seems like a long time ago. But you're not dead. Now we can leave. I have a plan. I almost got away twice. Oh, I know. There's a special door to come and go for special people, and I'll show you. And if anyone tries to stop us, you can fight them. Uh, I don't know if I really want to do a, a fighting it's um mission, but sure. Emily's whereabouts. She drew the golden cat. She had food. I just knocked over her entire... <laughs> her entire desk. Okay. Where was... Did she just, like, push this over to sleep and then, like, she would shower or take a bath in that tub? Oh, dear. Anyway. Uh, where'd you go, Emily? 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 The VIP room, though, right? That's where you were going. Oh, she's down there already. That's fine. I've already taken everyone out. I've already taken everyone out. Don't you worry. This place is on the river, so you must have come by boat. I did. I'll wait for you near the boat. I okay. Remember the way. Don't worry about me. I'm a little concerned about you, truth be told. But I think we're done here. Everyone, everything is taken care of. I've looked at all the available routes as far as I know. Elixir delivery. This is the weak supply of elixir. Tell your ladies to drink up, but the boss says we gotta we got to have coin in payment. No more trades. Craxton. So I assume if I had actually poisoned like followed Granny Rags and poisoned their elixir still, it would have ended up here and then more of the girls would have been sick, so I'm glad I didn't do that. Let's go. Time to dip. Oh, we're just coming through Granny Rags place. I hear them laughing, but then they'll see what I can do. So you're not going to comment on the fact that Emily just walked by? At the academy, they cut the flesh of the dead and trap the lightning from the sky. Okay. Why am I so cold? The great ships have stopped bringing their hulls. Okay, well, apparently she has nothing new to say about Granny Rags at this point, so that's fine. Um, oh, we're going all the way back out to the front area. Fine, that's fine, that's good. Oh. Uh, I can go up and over. Or not. Good thing the guards didn't notice a little girl coming by on her own. A little girl who has no dash abilities, who was able to make it through all of you somehow, but okay. I'm actually just that bad. Uh, bullets, grenades, and Piero stuff. Okay. No, I don't want any of you swarming at me. So, what now? I can just come... Nope, overshot. That's okay. Everyone else here has been taken out, so we are super duper done here. Wonderful. That was productive. Off we go then. Emily? I met your friend Samuel. He's going to show me how to steer this boat. Samuel and I were worried about you, Corvo. Ready when you are. You're busy. This place is rotten. Samuel says the hound pits is nicer. Uh, debatable. An old lady helped me find my way to the boat. Oh. Strange, though. Granny Rags helped you, huh? Okay, cool. What do you have you got to say about your daughter? She sees more than she is telling. Young Lady Emily. Poor Emily. Her childhood is lost. She has become a pawn in the games of men. She was bribed with sweet biscuits and ox milk. Calmed with stories of magic and seafaring. All to keep her sane in the time of turmoil. She hides her fears. She seeks someone to trust. She clings to her childhood things. But they bring her only brief comfort. She sees more than she's yeah. telling. Young Lady Emily. 
All right, Sam, Are let's go. Ready to go. Corvo, you must have worked wonders out there in the city tonight. I can't believe my old eyes. Uh, it's not exactly nighttime, but sure. Yeah, let's get Emily back. We're do we're going. Wonderful. The House of Pleasure. Uh, I killed two hostiles. Really? I know I absolutely killed the one assassin who jumped at me, but I'm not sure if I killed another one. I don't remember. Um, I helped Slackjaw find Crowley. I put the Pendletons to work in their own mine. Found almost everything. I missed a rune. That sucks. I missed a Sokolov painting. Alright, so I'm going to call it right here. I hope that you enjoyed what you saw here today and that you're doing well wherever you are. This was an actually pretty productive episode. I'm glad I finished the mission. And I hope that you're excited to see the next one. So have a great day. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you later. Bye-bye now.